going to show you how to create top selling trending designs that are selling right now. How do you do the research and how do you use AI to create them? And I had a comment on my previous video and it's from Jenny and it said, Hey RJ, a couple of ideogram tips from your Seattle geek chick. An ideogram when you remix or generate an OG graphic, I almost always choose the design option even for my Shiba designs. Sometimes for fun, I'll do an anime remix. When when remixing, I have the verbiage the way I want it. I delete the image as it still takes the original image into account otherwise. And this is exactly what she's talking about. I'm going to show you in this video as best as possible of what I think she means. So I thought it was a really cool way to use this AI tool. And also if you're unaware, this is my top research design vault, 460 plus niches. We should be hitting over 500 niches by the end of this month. Definitely will. Honestly, I release niches every single week as far as design inspiration and different ideas and what's selling as of right now, what's trending and what are people are buying and you're trying to get ahead of the competition to help you make sales with your print on demand business. There's a lot of people back here that are having success with this. There's, you can see what you could get, the niche name, related keywords, number of competition and the link. There are people back here that are making sales, making money and have a better understanding of what they should be designing for when it comes to creating a design for a t-shirt, right? So that's the one the most important thing when people look at all, any other stuff, it's like they don't know what's selling and this is like what they should be creating. Everything is trademark check and copyright checked back here too as well. So you don't have to worry about that. But I always recommend that you always double check for this. I say this in all my videos because I'm human. I do make mistakes on my end too as well. And it happens to me sometimes where I'll, you know, create something then I go back and check. I'm like, wait up, ah, oh, dang. It's trademark. I can't create this design. So it's all, you always double check everything that you do because it's your business too as well. If you're trying to take this serious and make money and take it to that next level, I highly recommend top research design vault. All right. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to obviously research like a trending design that's selling right now or trending niche that's selling right now for like a t-shirt design. And this can apply to any print on demand business that you're doing. It doesn't matter because we're doing research on the number one shopping platform, which is amazon.com. And then we're going to take it over to ideogram.ai. And this is an AI image generator. I'm going to show you how you can leverage these designs and and create your own unique design, which is amazing because as AI starts to evolve and get better and better, it becomes easier to create designs, which is, it's just, it's crazy, right? So I'm over here on Amazon hot new releases. If you're unaware of this, if you haven't done research over here, it's a really cool place to do research because it shows you like the top designs that are selling like within the week or within the month or within the last 30 days, which is really cool. So let's come down. Let me go ahead. Let's dad tax. You're seeing if you've done research over here on Amazon, you know that some of these designs are, are pretty cool. So let me grab this one. Well, you know, some of these designs are, have been around for a while and they're, they're starting to make sales again, or there's different variations of them being created on the platform. Grab that one. Let me grab. So like football and up for October breast cancer awareness. I think this was a really cool one text. Then calm down. Let me see if there's anything else. I like this one right here with the cat with the ramen. I thought that was really interesting. Looked like pretty detailed. So we'll just leave it at that, those two right there. And then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and screenshot this one. And then screenshot this one. Let me bring actually let me bring that in just a little closer to the cat too. So that you get a real good image of the cat. I have those saved or you can right click and then save the image too as well if it lets you do that but a uh, screenshot works the best for me. So now I'm going to come over here to ideogram. This is not a free tool. This is a paid tool. Yeah, if it's doing stuff like this for you, that's going to be, let you know, be aware that it's going to cost money as far as I don't get nothing behind this. I'm not affiliated with them, but it's just amazing how this software can create really cool designs. And I think it's important that, you know, you leverage this. I know a few people that are leveraging this. I'm leveraging it. I have designers on my team, but I also show them how to use it and how we can create unique designs, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to come up here to the little tab, hit that. I'm going to hit this little arrow with the upload image part right here with the little line. And then I'm going to come over here to screenshots, which the ones I just screenshot it, right? I'm going to grab, let's go ahead and tackle breast cancer. And then instead of describe, I'm going to hit remix. And then you can also mess with a few things here. 
the image weight you can increase this depending on like you know, or you can just even delete this too as well there's a few things that you can do here i've put it at 70 i'm gonna hit the design part so there's auto general realistic design 3d anime now this all depends on you right you can even it depends what you want to do right it's everything's going to be different here you can do anime you can do design you can do 3d you can do realistic general auto i'm gonna do design now the one thing too on a black t-shirt with a vibrate design. So what I'm gonna do, because sometimes this populates this because it knows it's a t-shirt, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. At the top of the bold reads tackle. Below the, this text, there's a graph representing a pink football helmet surrounded by a splash of pink paint or liquid. The helmet appears to be breaking through the paint, giving it a dramatic and powerful look at the bottom of the t-shirt. The reason why I try to stay away from anything that describing the product, because I don't want it to actually create the product, I want them to create the design. At the bottom of the design, let's say like, let's say instead of t-shirt, let's put design. In bold pink letters, the words breast cancer are written. Now you can hit remix here and then it will remix it for you exactly like this or you can just come up with your own idea, own concept. So if you don't want to, let's say you don't want to put tackle breast cancer or awareness, right? You can put something else here. You can just change out the text and, and, and put something else here. You don't want breast cancer awareness. You want it to say something else. You could do that. It's when it comes to any of this, it's just the idea here is just showing you like the bigger picture, give you an understanding how simple it is. And then as you start to understand it, you want to start coming in here and creating something of your own. Now, it doesn't have to say breast cancer awareness. It can be another awareness month, for example, right? You can change that out to a different awareness. It doesn't have to be breast cancer. It can be brain cancer, anything like that, right? So just thinking of different ideas and how you can approach this and come into this to create your own unique idea. But for this example, we'll just go ahead and hit remix. And it's going ahead and it's generating that. So what it did was it took the actual, that actual, hmm. The actual t-shirt image itself so let me go let's go back let's go here again let me hit this again let's go ahead this is interesting because i can crop it out too too that's it that's cool so we can crop it out a little bit more if we want to and the different sizes if you wanted to here right which is really nice and let's uh, hit the crop that's nice you can if you mess with that right there i had never seen that pretty cool let me go ahead and hit that x exit that out that image too i was aware because i had someone actually tell me this too this right here was a pretty cool feature that you can use but looking at this it's just let's go ahead and hit that generate button right there someone told me to hit the x out right there and then you can actually generate you know it will still generate something for you so it's basically like describing the image but not holding that image into accountable when you're creating the actual design. So let's see what it does right there. And keep in mind too with the AI, it's just testing, just testing, like tedious testing. Oh my God, it did a good job. It did, <laughs> it did a good job. So it keep, yeah, keep in mind too, it's like, as I'm learning this, like new, new features are coming out and I'm just like, wow, this works really good. I can see what this is doing here. So as I'm sharing it with you, it's just like kinda, as I'm learning it, this is a good idea. I can do this, I can do that right now, dude. That's, this is money. These are really good designs. And I like what they did there. Like the white, even put the black, right? All right, and look at that. And then over here, this is a clean design. And then if you want to look at kind of what the magic, I have the magic prompt on it, you can see exactly, you know, what it did right there. But look at the detail work, pretty clean. Got this spelling right, right, on each one, yeah. This is freaking good, great job. So I'm going to do that again. So. You can see what I did right there. Now, let's go to the next one. That one did a really good job. So let's kick here. Upload that image, right? And then we'll hit the remix button. We'll crop your image into the nearest of our version. Okay, let's exit that out. Black cat, orange, okay. Let's, it, it kind of just basically described it right. Let's go ahead and see, you can, like I said, you can even edit and you can, oh, it's just describing the image again. Weight of the image, you can hold this weight into countable. All right, if you want to hold the weight, let's go ahead and hit that X again and hit, uh, go ahead and hit the generate. Let's we'll see what it does right there, just with that alone. And if you're unaware too, this explore page is money as far as understanding different research ideas, just getting inspiration, so much here. There's a cool ducky, there's a lot of cool stuff here. So I highly recommend you come in here if you're doing any type of research to come in here and look at any of this stuff right here, it's pretty good. And oh my God. So this is the one that we found on amazon.com, right? And that's pretty good. Wow, that's, doesn't have the chopstick, but he's eating 
but it, these ones have chopsticks, but it's pretty cool. It looks like he's sticking it inside of his nose. Uh, this one's probably a little better, but it's covering his nose. His nose is still there a little bit. This one's pretty good because you can see the nose, right? So I like this one and this one. Dude, that's pretty clean, huh? Really cool. And then the cat just alone, like if it, like any of these, like think about it. If you download any of these images, you can just take out, you know, the cat itself if you like the cat or something. Anything about these images, even from the bulls too. Look at these bulls, right? These are the ramen bulls or, yeah, they're probably ramen bulls. But it has the shrimp in there and it has like the detailed stuff of all the other uh, vegetables and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. And you can see over here the magic prompt. You can see what it did right here. You can take a look at that just in case you want to look at any of that information. And there's the actual original prompt. It turned this prompt into this prompt, which is pretty cool. Amazing. So you see what I did? Well, basically just overview of everything that I did real fast. Came over here to Amazon Hot New Releases. We know that these are products are in demand. People are buying them right now. And it, it, obviously Halloween is trending right now. You can see I researched this idea about like two weeks ago. But look, it's number two over here. And research, come up with some good ideas. Come over here to ideogram.ai. Plug them in over here. Use the remix feature over here on the back end. Uploaded the image and seeing what it can create for us, what inspiration it created for us. We got a black cat with eating ramen with some seafood, some shrimp in there, right, which is really cool. And then we ended up creating this tackle breast cancer awareness design. And this is actually a really, really good design, right? Pretty cool. So, and then remember too, just, just as simple as you come into any of this stuff, like we're looking at the prompt, just switching out the text, right? Switching out the colors, make it make sense, little things like that. And if you know that it's working good for this niche, most likely if you turn it to a different awareness, change the color, change the font, or change the, the same, like the text, you can create a whole different design just by leveraging this and you see how powerful. This is like a rinse and repeat process. Like I can go over this again and again, and it always would create me something original and different, right? And as far as using AI, making sure that you're double checking for trademarks and copyrights, it's very, very important. Uh, obviously this tool is very, very powerful, but it's very, very important that you do that because you wanna make sure that you're not infringing or doing none of that funny stuff. The research that I'm doing inside of this video, I'm using Merch Informer. This is the research tool that I use to find low competition niches. So let me go ahead and share with you how I'm using this. And my coupon code is going to be down below in the description. I get a little affiliate kickback from that. And there is a free trial. So test it out for a few days. If you don't like it, cancel before it charges you. Product research. Come over here to Merch Hunter. Let me show you how you can make money with this tool and find low competition niches. So you can filter a lot of stuff out right here. We can exclude brands, which is really cool. So I'm going to hit that, exclude that, come down right here, leave that. And then with the number of reviews, I'll keep it like 10 or so. And then I'll hit search. And me here hitting search, it's going to basically go on to Amazon.com and do some scraping over there for us to find some new t-shirt designs. Now, with certain things, obviously, you still have to make sure that you're checking for your trademarks and your copyrights. You want to make sure that you're not infringing on another brand. That's one important thing. Now, if we come down here, look at this right here. I'm voting for the convicted felon. That's a very popular one right now. If you're unaware of that, I've made some content on that too, going over that niche. Juneteenth is a real popular one right now. Let's go down right here. Let's say, for example, look at this right here. Well, I went over this one too. I found this one. Let's go ahead and click on this listing. It's 4th of July, and then we have fighter jets. But they're and on the back of the fighter jets, it's basically showing the American flag, which is a really, really cool design. Now, let's come over here to all-time sales. Let's check this out. It's made its first sale in 2023, right? But look at this. There's a big demand for this right now, and it's cranking. It seems like it cranks throughout the whole year and makes a lot of sales. So this is one way that I look to see what people are buying. And now, what can, else can you create that's related to this right here? But this is crazy because this is an evergreen niche, right? Obviously, they're targeting for the July, but this is an evergreen niche that's going to sell all year long. By looking at the BSR chart, we're seeing that right there, right? Now let's keep going down and there's a ton of stuff down here that you probably not even heard, like you never even thought about, right? Got a little bit more, more. Merry 4th of happy, uh, you know the thing. Now let's click on something like this. Now, Joe Biden, funny design. If we come down, we're looking at this. Look at the all-time sales. So it's made its first sale in 2023, but look at right now, it's cranking and making a lot of sales right now. Now, the main goal behind this is just to see like, what, what's the demand? What, what are people buying right now? What can I do? What can I create? You know, and then get an idea from that. As I'm looking at all this stuff, there's so many different niches that you can go after in here. That's just, I'm just showing you one way that you can use this tool. Here's another fighter jet design, which is pretty cool, right? They kind of turn it the opposite way. 
And you can just come down here and just never run out of ideas just here for the wieners, right? Fourth of July design. Look at that. Let's see. Click on this. Oh, it looks good on the all white t shirt, which is nice. But let's look at the all time sales. It's made its first sale in April 2024, but like this, this is a newer design that's making sales. Something like this, like when I spy, when I see something like this, people are buying, obviously buying this type of design right now. It's a good idea to figure out something that you're of your own and make something like this. And so that's how I leverage Merch Informer to help me come up with awesome new ideas. And there's a whole suite back here. You can even design, create your own design back here. And there's a ton that can be done with this tool. Really awesome tool. And if you want to see another method, how to leverage AI to create top selling designs, watch this video right here next. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out.